All right, so we may get word on everyone's Big Ten schedule soon. College football. And, of course, the Big Ten next year adds USC, UCLA, Oregon, Washington, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Dallas Cowboys, Real Madrid, and the Lakers, all joining the Big Ten. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so it's going to be a hard schedule. Um, the Wolverine this week reported a couple things. One is that Jim Harbaugh might be close to getting that contract extension, which might be a sign that the NCAA could be on the brink of accepting their self-imposed penalties. But uh, the other thing is, they report is that the Big Ten schedule is coming out very soon, and uh, there's stuff percolating that it might even be today. But the Wolverines reporting that Michigan's home schedule next year includes – Non-conference games, I think the opener is Fresno State. Fresno State, <laughs> this year, I believe they're ranked. Um, now, they're not, not, you know, clearly isn't a brand name, but that's not a, a pushover team. Texas is coming into Ann Arbor and uh, Arkansas State. But the Big Ten schedule, according to the Wolverine.com, will include home games with Michigan State, mm -hmm. Oregon, and USC. Road games will include at Ohio State, and the story says probably Washington. So if this is accurate, they've got Michigan will play at home next year, Oregon, USC, Texas, and Michigan State, amongst others, Fresno and Arkansas State, and Big Ten road games, one would be at Ohio State, and they say probably Washington. So there's a few things about this. One is, and that's that's the only reporting I've seen, although there is a Twitter account that's that's leaking stuff. Yeah, I'm seeing something here, but it, it does not, it's not the same that you said. Well, college football some report. Some of it is, but some of it is. College isn't. football report included, I believe, Penn State and UCLA on Michigan's schedule. Uh, the I one college. I see, which does not, it's not attributed to anything. I just see it on the message board. It says leaked Michigan schedule. Um, mentions home against U.S. The home schedule would be Rutgers, USC, Michigan State, Maryland, UCLA. That's the home that's, schedule? That's the Big Ten schedule, the home Big Ten schedule. Well, that's, that, that's this. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that's what I'm seeing here. But I don't, I don't know if I buy it because there's nothing attributed to where it was leaked from. Right. Um, college football report says Michigan's expected schedule next year, Ohio state, Texas, USC, Oregon, Washington, but then also includes Penn state, UCLA, and Wisconsin. <laughs> so look, that's going to be, um, one that you do not navigate without losing games. But the thing about it is how many losses can you absorb and still make the college football playoff now? Cause college football playoff will have 12 teams. And so we're entering an era where losses aren't one loss, and even two losses don't spell doom. But I mean, this is what the networks want, right? They want, right. Well, they want so the, the golden number is 4 million. There's the, the, I can't remember which writer did a story on it, that the networks are always seeking 4 million viewers and Michigan might be playing a schedule next year that has, six or seven games that get four million viewers, which is the the golden ticket to big big T V ratings and, and money and all that. The golden ticket. Yeah, well look, this bringing in the schools from the Pac twelve is going to be huge for ratings. I mean it just is because people have the there's that interest and um and certainly in, in a school like USC uh, UCLA has that national flavor, even though they're not a, a great team or a great program. But Washington's built themselves to being a, a, a really good program. Oregon's built themselves to being just outside of great. These are good things for the Big Ten moving forward with schedule. For people that love college football, the scheduling is going to be great. Now, the everyday, for the actual people that have to be students and deal with this, it's not so great. But as a fan, it's not my concern. What, I don't, am, I, what am I missing? What's, why is it not great for the students? Because it's all the travel and everything else. And to try to be a student athlete, I think, is okay. that's, okay. that's just yeah, not the, the same. The cross-country yeah. travel. All yeah. that stuff is going to be uh, 
just a, a nightmare. And for athletic departments to try to navigate through all that, I think that's going to be nightmarish too. But as a fan, I don't care. <laughs> as a fan, I want the big matchup. I want to look forward to Saturday football and say, well, who's on the schedule this week? Oh, my God, Michigan State's taking on USC and Michigan's at Oregon. This is pretty good. Mm-hmm. And, oh, you know, then we got Ohio State taking on Penn State. That's fine and whatever. It, it's The matchups are fantastic for for the fans. And for college football in general, it's going to be great. But logistically, it's going to be an issue. 